Greetings, Grandfather. Now, part three. Last time we were talking about uh, seeing uh, energy bodies. And uh, I've been teaching you how to get here from there, eh? Now, I think it's time to try this out with a very good friend, a mate, or a loved one who tells you it's okay to do this with them. It cannot harm them in any way, but I feel that it will work better if they are willing and comfortable with it. Don't ever do this with babies because they cannot give you that immediate, sure, it's okay. They don't know any of the high signs or any of that, okay? So, don't do this with babies. But, say you have a friend or a mate, then have them, if they would, stand in front of, say, a, a blank wall. You want the wall behind them to have as little or nothing on it as possible. So if it's an outdoor wall and it has designs on it, try to find something else. If there isn't anything, and you're living in a very flat area, and all that is behind that person in the distance is sky, all right, just over the curvature of the earth, you understand? Or say you're on a, a boat, well, that might work. It's a little harder on a boat unless you're moving at the same relative, in the same relative way as the boat is, and that's likely. But let's keep it on land for the moment. Say your friend or your mate is standing in front of this blank wall. Do the same thing, meaning either look at the top of their head or if you prefer, look at their shoulder or something where there's a distinct difference in background, what's behind, do you understand, them, and see if you can move your point of perception, just like before, away and see if you notice a lighter area. Now, it might be different. You might see something, I didn't tell you about this last time with the dog or cat, but you might see something for the human being or the dog or cat, or occasionally for other things as well, plants, that is of a color, meaning there will be the bright energy field light, but at times you might see something that represents a color, maybe green, maybe some other color. Often this has to do with a feeling the person is having. Occasionally it has to do with something that they are personally experiencing in that moment. If they are uncomfortable, it might be a specific color. There are no absolute fixed colors for human beings this way, because human beings are here to learn many things, and sometimes the color tonalities change a little bit. But there are basic ones that one might see. And I'm not going to tell you too much about those colors, because I want you to learn and I also do not want you to become attached to what others see. Don't let, uh, say three or four of you are doing this, don't let someone say, I see green above their shoulder, and while well, you see pink, don't let them talk you out of whatever you see. If you saw pink, you saw pink, and that's that. All right? Different colors mean different things. If you can afterwards, after you're doing this, uh, looking at the person, looking for the energy field, if you can ask them what they were feeling and they feel safe and comfortable, they'll tell you. They may not know what they were feeling because many people have feelings that they are not easily able to uh, transform into words. You know that one. So uh, then you say, oh, okay. Don't assume that this color means this and that color means that. You can never be absolutely certain unless you are doing this for a long time with your friend and maybe your friend is participating and as you stand there, 
You may or may not ever know exactly what that was, but if you would like to have a better idea of what that might be or how you can experiment with that, then we'll talk about that next time. Good life.